Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. So honestly speaking, I should be making videos on the upcoming Fate Grand Order 9th anniversary event. The event is literally in two weeks, and as I told you guys a few days ago, I will be going to Japan to attend this event. So I'm currently in a time crunch right now. But with the unexpected announcement of the Honkai Star Rail and Fate's Day Night Unlimited Blade Wars collaboration that was announced yesterday, I need to take advantage of this current wave because two highly popular franchises and communities are going to be colliding next year. Or better yet, I actually see a lot of Hoyoverse fans starting to migrate and learn about the Fate franchise as we speak. And that makes me really happy because Fate, I do believe, is still somewhat of an underrated visual novel game or anime even though it's huge when it comes to FGO but Fate specifically I think is still um, very niche in a way so again I'm very happy to see that a bunch of Hoyoverse fans are actually coming to learn about Fate UBW. Here's the deal I believe the chances are slim but I think there might be a really good chance that they will have some kind of update regarding the collaboration at the FGO 9th anniversary that will be held on August 3rd, August 4th, Japan time. Before I go any further, I want to go ahead and introduce myself to the Hoyoverse fans. My name is Kita Sean. I mainly create content related to the Type Moon franchise. I do play Hoyoverse games. More specifically, right now I play ZZZ. I currently play it on my own time, but I do plan on streaming it soon. I do play Honkai Star Rail every now and then, but with the announcement of the UBW collab, I think you'll be seeing me play the game more often now. With the introductions out of the way, let's go ahead and just get right into the video. Why do I believe there might be a chance they will be talking about this upcoming collaboration at FGO Fest 9th anniversary? Well, there will be a Type Moon Time stage at FGO Fest on day one, and on this stage, they will be discussing the upcoming remastered version of the Fate Stay Night visual novel game. And in the visual novel game, of course, there are three routes, and one of those routes is the Unlimited Blade Work route. It was also announced yesterday that Uetakana, the voice of Tosakarin, will be joining the panel. And for those who don't know, Tosakarin is the main heroine for the UBW routes. This could be coincidence, but hey, you never know. Maybe they kind of planned this out. With the remastered version coming out this year, it's a great opportunity for Type Moon to get Hoyoverse fans to step foot into the magical realm of the Nasuverse and boost the sales of the visual novel. Also, something to note, Type Moon Times is a show that talks about the latest news for the Type Moon franchise. So if there's going to be news about this recent collaboration announcement, it's got to be here. It's pretty unusual for Gacha Games to announce a collaboration one year in advance. I have the hunch that the reason why they announced it so early is so that they can announce something like this at the FGO Fest. Again, FGO Fest is in two weeks from now. <laughs> Another reason why I want to talk about this is because the collaboration is set for quarter 3 of 2025. Quarter 3 usually refers to July, August, or September. Guess what is in quarter 3? You guessed it. Anime Expo 2025 and Fate Grand Order Fest 10th Anniversary. If they plan to release the event in quarter 3, then I'm sure new information will be announced at the two events. Anime Expo 2025 makes sense because they will most likely have a panel at this event like they did this year. It was huge, right? I mean, you had the guys from Trash Taste, some voice actors, and some other guests at this uh, panel. So I think if anything, they'll uh, talk about it more at the panel at Anime Expo 2025. As stated, FGO will be celebrating its 10th anniversary next year, around the time this collaboration releases. Is it a coincidence? I don't think so. I actually do believe this was completely planned. Now, take this with a grain of salt, but we know FGO is going to announce some insane stuff next year. It's the 10th anniversary, you have to go big. Maybe, just maybe, they will announce a collaboration with Honkai Star Rail. If it does happen, man, it's going to break the internet for sure. There's going to be a lot of fans migrating to FGO. That is for sure. <laughs> at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised at all if FGO does nothing. FGO is known not to collaborate with 
properties outside of type moon works i do believe it is possible for them to release some kind of campaign to celebrate the collaboration but they never really did it with other gacha games so why do it with you know whole guy star rail to be really honest with you guys, I think the next time we will hear more about this collaboration will be during the Honkai Star Rail anniversary next year. Uh, I believe the anniversary was celebrated around April this year, so of course April 2025 next year. I'm sure there are going to be team members of the Honkai Star Rail team at FGO Fest roaming around. If I do spot anything Honkai related, I will let you guys know as soon as possible on X or uh, wherever I post pictures and stuff like that if you haven't followed me yet you should do so because again i'm going to be taking a lot of photos i'll record a lot of videos at the fgo fest event so regarding this collaboration i do have uh, one or two more videos that i want to talk about so look forward to that but yeah that's basically going to be about it thanks for watching guys hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the uh, the next one laters